Hey guys, this is Paul Potter with Crappie Fishing TV. Today in this episode, we're going to be out here finding a brand new winter crappie fishing spot, and we're going to be showing you guys exactly how we're finding it. It's coming up right now in this video. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Paul Potter. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you guys increase your crappie fishing catch rate by sharing tricks and techniques that I use as a crappie fishing guide on Grand Lake in Oklahoma. So make sure and hit that subscribe button and give us a like by hitting the thumbs up below if you like what you see. Okay, so I'm out here on Uluga Lake in Oklahoma, and Uluga Lake is a great crappie fishing lake. It's overlooked by a lot of people. So if you guys are in Oklahoma, you guys should definitely come check out this lake. What we're gonna be doing today is getting out of the wind, number one, because it's 20 mile an hour winds. Number two, we're gonna be finding some new crappie fishing spots and showing you guys what that looks like. Okay, so where are we gonna go fishing today? So. Right now, I'm right next to this island, right over here, and uh, it's out of the wind, and that's why we're gonna fish this area. We're gonna scan it with our side scan, uh, look for drop-offs. I know there's a drop-off right here. I've already looked on the map, and I'll show you that. Uh, this is just a spot that's out of the wind, number one. The channel is right over there. There's an island, um, you know, and we're just gonna go looking for brush piles that might be over here that we can stay on top of uh, while it's windy. So guys, let's go. I'm thinking maybe around this corner uh, and right around in here. But what I'm going to do first is scan this edge of the drop off right here, where the um, right next to that deep water. There's the deep water. There's the drop off. So we're going to go scanning right along in here and see what we can find. All right. So we're coming up on this drop off uh, right along. We're already seeing that drop off. We already see the the shadows and everything. So you can see the fish hanging out. Right there, one, two, three, four. Wow, look at all those fish. So there's fish hanging out right on the drop off. Dot, 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 all those white dots, boom, there's a big one right there. Boom, 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 boom. They're all hanging out on this drop off. So what we're gonna do is go scan this area with live scope because we know they're there and we're just gonna look for brush piles and look for fish. Look at that, there's a whole gob of them right there. Whole gob of fish right there, look at that. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to tell you guys today was it is actually 40 degrees out here today. Now I'm wearing gloves, but look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a little pullover shirt, and that's because I'm wearing these Columbia Omni Heat base layers. Now they're like $50, but man, it's $50 for the bottoms and $50 for the tops. But the pair I have, I have had them for about eight years, so they last forever, and they got this uh, these little like reflectors on the inside, shiny reflectors that keep the heat. Uh, so they like keep your body heat in your body. But if it wasn't for that, I would have to be wearing a bigger coat, especially at 40 degrees. Uh, I would be freezing uh, my tail off out here. Go check those out. I'll put a link to those at the bottom. Okay, so I wanted to take a break for a second and talk about before live scope. 
So one of the tricks I would use to fish drop-offs before live scope is I would use marker buoys to mark the drop-off so I know where it's at. So what I would do with my sonar, and you can use 2D sonar, down scan, doesn't matter. What you do is you drive over the drop-off. As soon as you see it, you throw the marker buoy above your head, back there, it's gonna land on the edge of the drop-off. And then what you wanna do is go back the other way and throw it way back there again. And what it's gonna do is gonna land and then and what that's going to do is let you find that drop-off accurately. And you can use those marker buoys as a reference. So that's how you fish drop-offs before live scope. All right, well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. But guys, I got to let you go because me and Acre got a fishing trip booked and we got to get out of here. See you guys next time.